All right, guy, good to see you. OAC, we're at day two action here at the junior high event. How many guys you bring out? We brought 14. 14, uh, and, and how you guys doing at this point? We're doing all right, I got uh, six to alive in championship round. I lost five, and I think I got three in consolations. Yeah, what do, you, what do you say to the guys that that don't finish as high as they want or don't place at the event when they come off the mat? Yeah, that's a tough, that's a tough an question to answer. Every kid's different, so I have a different message for each one of them. Some sure. of them, you know, like to be a kick in the ass, and some of them are kind of like a little more subtle approach. They're like, you know, let's just get back on and get back to work, you know. But the, the message is always positive, uh -huh. but, you know, they all want to hear it differently. So how, did, how long does it take you as a coach to kind of understand the individuals on your team to be able to communicate effectively like that? Years. I mean, I'm fortunate. I, I have kids in my program for 10 years before they go to St. Ed's. Uh -huh. So, I mean, I'll, I'll work with the, I mean, they, they come really part of the family. You know, uh -huh. you know, I've kids for 10 years. But two or three good seasons I need with them before I really understand what makes them fit. Nice. Thanks. So, when you have a kid with you for 10 years, and they move on to the next level, or you know, what? What? What are the feelings that you have? Uh, well, one was like Sammy Dover. You know, Sammy Dover was a ten-year guy, and he went on to St. Ed's. He just won his state title this year, and he's off to Oklahoma. It, it, it's an extension of the program, and it, it, it becoming emotionally attached to these kids. It must be pretty cool when you see a kid, you know, a state title and moving on to college. Yeah, I was fortunate. I, I got to sit in on his. Um, recruiting trip with Lou Roselli when they recruited them, cool. and you know, it's that important to the families and to us to be a part of that with them. So when it, when somebody does move on, what are some of the ideas or some things that they take from you as a coach or the program? I just hope they take work ethic with them. You know, we're never flashy. You see West Shore and St. Ed's, you know, it's not like we do anything crazy, we just work hard. So hopefully they keep that work ethic with them and they become good men. Gotcha. So I was looking yesterday, walking around the concourse, and I see uh, these photos of like um, finishes from this term in like five, six, seven, oh eight, and just unbelievable. You know, guys that moved on and were multiple time All Americans getting like fourth place and fifth place. Yeah. Um, are the kids today in line to, to? Do you think to have the success that those guys did, or can you even can you tell that? No, I, I to be honest, with you, I think there's some of them are a little weaker right now. Yeah. Um, who's the David Taylor? Who's the Logan Steve? Or who's the? Gotcha. You know, there, there's no one that really jumps out like that right now. Uh -huh. um, I'm sure it'll emerge, but right now it's a pretty even playing field. Gotcha. So how about in terms of like where Ohio sits in the country? Uh, you know, it's always in that conversation. Uh, you know, top five state in the in the country. Um, with the dynamic of wrestling today, is it still like in the same spot, or gaining ground, or losing ground? To uh, I think we're probably right where we've always been. Yeah, um, very competitive. I don't see us losing ground anywhere there. Uh, I see maybe more, like I said, more of a level playing field. There's not so many superstars, but there's still some pretty tough kids. Right? I love coming to OAC events. Um, you're, you and Defense Soap are a sponsor here, and you see lots of events. What makes OAC strong? Well, first off, these guys do a great job. I mean, this is a class act. They really make these kids feel special. And, and I think just the way they qualify, I mean, they get the best kids in this tournament. There's no doubt about it. Nice. Give me a Defense Soap update. Uh, well, we just signed a nice contract with the UWW. We're working with their doctors. To, create a hygiene protocol for wrestlers around the world. Uh -huh. So, um, I mean, we're on the biggest stage we can be on there, and, and we're doing a lot of work with the NWCA as well. Gotcha. Has Zeb Miller successfully given 75% of the wrestling community a bar of defense So I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Guy, it's always good to see you. You got anything else for us? Uh, good seeing you, Joe. Thanks for doing what you do and defend what you built.